A few moments ago I made a video for unfollowers and unlikers of SoundCloud quickly using a script without having to install any additional applications, in the video it also explains how the script works, how to find buttons to press and others. This is to anticipate if one day the script does not work anymore due to a layout change in SoundCloud, you can easily modify it to suit the new SoundCloud layout. You can watch the video on my channel if you haven't watched it yet. In this video, I'll be explaining the same thing about SoundCloud's unfollowers and unlikers, but I'm wrapping the script into an extension so that it's easier for you to use. This will be very helpful for those of you who are not very familiar with JavaScript or for those of you who don't want to bother with learning scripts. This extension will also be very useful if you have followed a very large number of SoundCloud accounts. You can run this extension automatically while you are doing other things or you can even go take a break and leave your computer on for this extension to work. Welcome to Newbie Computers Channel. Go to the GitHub URL and download this extension at the link provided in the description. Extract the file where you want it, then install the extension in your browser. I am using Chrome in this video. Ensure that the developer mode checkbox in the top right hand. Click load unpacked extension to pop up a file selection dialog and select your directory. If the extension is valid, it'll be loaded up and active right away. Ensure that the enabled box next to your Chrome extension is checked. Go to your profile page. Find the following button and click it. You will be taken to the following page which contains two tabs, namely following and likes. To run the unfollower, you have to select the following tab, to run the unliker, you have to select the likes tab. To start it, click the extension in the top right corner to bring up the extension dialog pop-up, press the start button. The script will start working quickly. To stop it you can press the stop button. When the script is working, a box will appear below that displays status information and the number of actions that have been carried out. You can sit back and wait for the script to finish working. The script will automatically scroll down to load the next data, and if the action limit is met, it will reload the page to update the data. This script will continue to work until there are no more items available or you stop it by pressing the stop button or even you can disable the extension, but you have to reload the page if you use this method. Now I will try to unlike all the tracks I've ever liked. Select the likes tab to display a list of tracks that we like, then run this extension again by pressing the start button in the pop-up dialog extension. Now we wait until there are no more tracks that we like. How long this will take depends on the number of likes we have done. This is a just simple SoundCloud unfollower and unlike a script, nothing fancy, but very helpful for someone who doesn't like to spend a lot of times with single click on every SoundCloud account followed or liked. 
Imagine if you have followed or liked thousands of SoundCloud accounts. Even if you don't care about having a tight follower to following ratio this is useful because it helps to unclutter your feed, ensuring that the content you scroll through is all stuff you want to see. And you can see I've unliked 231 tracks in a few minutes, and now my likes page is blank because there are no more tracks that I like. If you feel the delay time and reload limit are not suitable, you can modify this script for your needs. Open the folder where this extension is located, find the inject.js file and open it with your favorite text editor. Max action to reload is an option that specifies that once the number of unlike or unfollow action reaches this limit, the script will reload the page. Default wait time is the wait time in seconds for each action and no items reload wait time is the wait time in seconds to reload the page if no item found. Don't forget to save the file after making those changes. You must also reload the extension page in your browser, reload the Google Myoctivity page as well so that the changes made can be implemented immediately. If at any time there is a layout change in SoundCloud that makes this script can't work anymore, you can modify this script in the do unfollow and do unlike functions section. Adjust the parameters of the query selector all function with the tag name and class name according to the changes made in the two functions. I have explained how to find out the tag name and class name in a previous video entitled Simple and Fast Way to Mass Unfollow SoundCloud Accounts, you can watch it on my channel. <laughs>